5. Mercury The symbol HG that Mercury is known by comes from its Greek name Hydrogyra, which means liquid silver. The element is also known as Quicksilver for its mobility. Part of the reason Mercury is extremely toxic is because it can enter the body through inhalation, ingestion, or skin absorption. Mercury can cause damage to nerves, the liver, and the kidney, as well as a number of other symptoms. Although it is very toxic and dangerous, it is still very useful to us. The element conducts electricity and is used in electrical switches and thermostats and certain types of alarm clocks. It can also be found in many compact fluorescent bulbs, and this is because there is typically no other element with the properties needed to keep this type of bulb lit. As effective as it is at enabling white light however, mercury is also highly toxic. It is especially harmful to the brains of both fetuses and children. That's why officials have banned its use in applications from the thermometers to automotive and thermostat switches. In the past, mercury was the primary means of treatment for syphilis until the early 20th century. It was used in the form of pills, calomel, ointments, and steam baths. The side effects of this toxic treatment included tooth loss, ulcerations, neurological damage, and even death. Due to this element being extremely dangerous, Scientists are finding new ways that it can be harmful to humans and our environment, but they are also finding new ways to decrease our exposure to this element. 4. Arsenic Arsenic is a poisonous substance which is released both from certain human activities and naturally from the Earth's crust. Humans may be exposed to arsenic mainly through food and water, particularly in certain areas where the groundwater is in contact with arsenic-containing materials. Arsenic is a natural element which behaves like a metal. It is present in the environment both naturally and due to certain human activities. It has many different forms. It can exist in an inorganic or organic form, inorganic arsenic being generally considered more toxic. Industrial processes such as mining, smelting, and coal-fired power plants all contribute to the presence of arsenic in the air, water, and soil. Environmental contamination also occurs because it is used in agricultural pesticides and in chemicals for timber preservation. When arsenic is inhaled due to its presence in airborne particles, the amount absorbed into the bloodstream depends on two things, how soluble the particle form of arsenic is and how small the particles are. This being said, most arsenic in the body comes from the diet. In the gut, Soluble compounds are quickly transformed and eliminated from the body via the urine. However, there are differences from one person to another in the ability to get rid of arsenic compounds. If a large amount of arsenic is swallowed by humans in a form that is readily absorbed, it can cause rapid poisoning and even death. The gut, the heart, and nervous system are affected. Those who survive acute poisoning may develop pigment spots in the skin and damage to red blood cells, bone marrow, liver, nerves, and the brain. Long-term exposure to high levels of arsenic in drinking water can cause thickening and pigment spots in the skin and cancer of the skin, lungs, bladder, or kidney. 3. Caseum Caseum is one of the radioactive fission products created within a nuclear reactor during its operation. Caseum-137 is one of the major radioactive isotopes of caseum. It is a major radioisotope in the radioactive waste resulting from nuclear reactors. KCM-137 is radioactive for a long period of time and can contaminate property entailing extensive cleanup. Among the many fission product nuclides, KCM-137 deserves attention because it possesses a unique combination of physical properties and historical notoriety. It is also produced in large quantities during fission. Fission is another word for splitting. The process of splitting a nucleus is called nuclear fission. These physical properties have made KCM-137 a dangerous legacy of major nuclear accidents such as Chernobyl, but it has also caused relatively small incidents as well. Despite its prevalence in spent nuclear fuel and nuclear waste, KCM-137 is actually extremely rare. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident and the less well-known Guayana scrap metal accident illustrate the true dangers of KCM-137. 
During the Chernobyl explosion, about 27 kilograms of KCM-157 were expelled into the atmosphere. After the rapid decay of iodine-131, KCM-137 was a predominant source of radiation in fallout from the Chernobyl explosion. In 2002, 16 years after the Chernobyl disaster, a 4,000 km square area still contained too much KCM-137 to be inhabited or used for agricultural purposes. 2. Polonium Polonium was the first element Murray and Pierre Curie discovered. They discovered polonium and then radium in 1898 while working in Paris, investigating radioactivity in pitch blend or uranium oxide. At the time of the discovery, they wrote, We thus believe that the substances that we have extracted from pitch blend contains a metal never known before, akin to bismuth in its analytic properties. If the existence of this new metal is confirmed, we suggest that it should be called polonium after the name of the country of origin of one of us. Polonium is harmful both through its chemical toxicity and its radioactivity. Polonium-210 is an alpha emitter. As such, it is very hazardous if swallowed or inhaled. Exposure to polonium increases the risk of getting various cancers. Polonium is a rare, silver-gray, radioactive low-melting metalloid. Polonium readily acts with dilute acids but only slightly with alkalides. It is used to eliminate static electricity produced during processes such as rolling paper, wire, and sheet metal. However, beta decay sources are more commonly used as they are less dangerous. Polonium can also be used as an atomic heat source but because of the isotope's short half-life, it doesn't provide power for long-term uses. Polonium is also used in anti-static brushes to eliminate dust from photographic film. It is sealed in brushes to control the radioactive emissions. 1. Plutonium Plutonium is one of the most highly regulated substances in the world. It has no permitted industrial applications other than nuclear bombs and nuclear power reactors. There are several reasons for its highly regulated status. First. Plutonium is widely viewed as almost unimaginably dangerous. It is in fact quite dangerous because it is powerfully radioactive and because it is bone-seeking, which means once you get any on you, it attaches itself permanently to your bones where it sits around casually irradiating the bone marrow that is responsible for producing your blood cells. If too much plutonium gets together in a compact form, a spontaneous chain reaction begins, which results in a huge increase in the amount of radiation released, and if you have enough, probably a nuclear explosion. This has happened accidentally in storage pools in Russia and in weapons labs in the US on at least two occasions. It takes a surprisingly small amount of it to reach dangerous rates of fission. Scientists now know that very small amounts of plutonium occur in the Earth's crust. It is formed in ores of uranium. When uranium breaks down, it sometimes forms plutonium in very small quantities. Scientists believe that the abundance of plutonium in the earth is about 1 quintillionth parts per million. Plutonium has been released in the environment primarily by atmospheric testing of nuclear weapons and by accidents at weapons production and utilization factories. In addition, Accidents involving weapon transport, satellite re-entry, and nuclear reactors have also released smaller amounts of plutonium into the atmosphere. Plutonium may remain in the lungs or move to the bones, liver, or other body organs. It generally stays in the body for decades and continues to expose the surrounding tissues to radiation. This may eventually increase your chance of developing cancer, but it would be several years before such cancer effects become apparent. Thanks for watching, Brave Vibes. If you enjoyed this video, learned anything new or want more, feel free to subscribe, comment below, and give this video a huge thumbs up. If you want to suggest any videos for future, don't forget to leave those in the comments below, or you can tweet through this channel at Brainy underscore Fives. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.